it's not about specialization. It's actually generic. Your specialization is computer science, civil, mechanical. That's the departments here. But when you get into computer science, you get into again specializations, right? Storage, networking, and all of your elective graphics, databases are all specializations. And here is where storage comes in. And when you get into storage, there is still much more specialization. And I think Rajesh brought it out extremely well. I, I look at storage, when I look at storage, there are five different skills that go in. Or five different uh, in independent career paths, if you can call it that, specialization. One is the system integration. That is where you look at a business problem and say, this business problem requires this kind of a solution. Okay. Um, take maybe devices from somewhere, softwares from somewhere, put together business teams, that, that system integration. The next skill is professional services. You Rolling out an EMC product, uh, sorry about that, but rolling out an EMC product requires understanding of business and a lot of work, MC has a huge professional services task that does that. So that is another career path. The other is, you would have heard about yesterday in terms of remote management of 24 by 7 and Rajesh alluded to that. So remote infrastructure management, where you need to administer storage, ensure that it is running 24 by 7. Um, the fourth one is, again Rajesh alluded to that product development, right? So how do you develop a backup product? How do you develop a storage switch? It requires different set of skills. And the last but not the least is an independent testing ability of a product. How do you do scalability, reliability, interoperability, testing? All of these are specific skills and and the way I, I'm looking at this is that today's curriculum in a, in the academia should start looking at, at building some of these skills into the people. Let me give an example. Today at class 12, you start figuring out what your specialization is, whether it is engineering or medicine. Similarly, we need to start that specialization here in the, in the college of which industry you need to go into. And, and Venkat alluded to the gym example in the previous panel discussion, right? So so you need to start thinking and, and, and the gym starts to, should start to have that specialization whether you are building people for cycling or or wrestling uh, in, in here. So so let me, let me, let me say I, I, my top of the mind thoughts about how that can be built and maybe I'll I will let uh, Rajesh and uh, uh, Pradeep talk about it. One is, I believe uh, at the undergrad level, uh, storage primer should be part of an elective course. Uh, ensure that that gets built as the knowledge. I mean, there, almost all the five disciplines will need some of that. Um, there are different uh, different uh, curriculum. We can help build the curriculum from the industry. Um, the other thing is that the, I believe the institutions with help from the industry and, and I'm sure we'll all, we can all sit down and, and, and talk about it and uh, where we can set up a storage lab where you can get a hands-on field where more time to go up when I say what is storage. Um, uh, Sneha has has kind of tried to set that up with a triple ITV in, in terms of setting up that kind of a storage lab. Um, and, and I would say as students there are independent um, independent certification courses. SNIA has, uh, SNIA, for those of you who know, uh, who don't know, is doing So just one. So one basic underlying reality what all of us should know is that storage is growing. <coughs> be it large organizations for your business requirements or be it individual users. On the organization front, I just gave an example of mobile. Earlier when we started, when we had telephone, it was basic services of telephony which we had. Even when the mobiles were introduced about 8 or 9 years back, each call used to cost us about 17 rupees per minute. Towards now, it is sub 1 rupee. So obviously, the number of subscribers are going to increase. The number of calls we are going to make, make or receive are going to increase. The number of value-added services that are being provided, we have never thought of Ringtone being such a big business, ringtones, downloads of the polyphones, then you know you also can do a search, a net search using your mobile phones. So all these value-added services will definitely call for market infrastructures, application side, as well as on the storage side. From a personal front, I'll just give an example. There is a lady who is making photos now. 
this in this hall. You think she is going to take, you know, printouts of that and then save it, put it onto an album, which used to be the case few years back? Not. If she is just going to copy it on her desktop and then leave it there. Which means that as and when you click photos in your storage, is going to, requirement is going to increase. Hence, in fact, storage should be taken up seriously. And the saturation is point is not clear. It is very, very far away. So there is a huge growth in the storage. And there are various ways, in fact, we did discuss in uh, my presentation as well as uh, Ram also did mention about it. Various ways in which you can look at uh, storage as a serious employment opportunity. What is required in uh, uh, you know, colleges is what is the theoretical experience as well as the practical experience. In fact, I was speaking to one of the professors who did mention that you know, you don't get the look and feel, the touch and feel, and how this data is actually more of the story. Uh, while doing this, I mean, having, having a course, but in this, uh, definitely it's going to be advantageous. But at the same time, uh, let, let me also tell one thing, and today, uh, today in the afternoon, uh, uh, panel discussion also this aspect came. Uh, in most of the cases we have seen, uh, industry people talking to the academia only to put this subject. So they come, I mean, they, they, not be, they not have to be only with the AMC or maybe any other organization, in fact. Uh, so they come and then insist on the pressurize uh, with, with the academia that this course has to be put. And similarly, I mean, we have done this earlier. In, in fact, I mean, we had one regular course on motor uh, uh, processors. And we had one, one complete course on the uh, Texas instrument uh, uh, processors. But uh, when it was done, and whatever the support that is needed to teach that particular subject, and whatever the support that is required, and for example, we have been told now, now storage has been taken, uh, taken, taken almost like a record, which, which we can't fail. Only we can set it up as there must be some story where this information is being based. Instead of doing that, I mean, if industry takes a decision, like after putting it in the curriculum, if industry is going to support that, okay, so our, our faculty members are all, really not that much going to take up such courses. I mean, inclusion is not a problem at all. It is a vision of being extra in it or extra concept. This course could be introduced. But at the same time, supporting such courses and industry coming forward and then helping in that regard. And other possibilities, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, maybe uh, establishing some kind of thing, labs pertaining to this in the different uh, organizations. Whereas such labs could be sponsored by the industry. Again, again, they should not insist on the, uh, what say, academic institutions to invest on that. Whether industries themselves they can come forward and then establish labs. I think even the entire design process, I hope you'll agree with me, that they have Intel labs, exclusive Intel labs. They have Microsoft labs, I mean, they have IBM labs. In the similar way, whether we can have the storage labs and institutions, which are going to support our students and also be uh, hands on, and which in turn will make that uh, make the program more effective, and students will definitely appreciate that. This is my good afternoon. Uh, I believe that uh, even though we don't have any courses in uh, storages, it's not late, right? Uh, I think it's uh, it's a time to start with. So, introducing uh, LIT courses is not at all difficult. It can be introduced at any point of time. But exclusive MTA courses in this regard, maybe it requires a bit more debate on that, whether we should go for that. Maybe more input from the industry may be needed for that. Because uh, some, after some stage, the students should not be able to do that. Such when you start something in a very narrow area, there is something we have to be worried about. Then it's always the demand makes things. So when the industry is demanding more for, say for example, Professor Sadagobin was saying about Google Earth. I think he has not mentioned about Google Earth, but Google Earth is already demanding so much of storage requirement. Maybe in the uh, immediate future you will see Google uh, Moon, Google Mars, maybe Google uh, Solar System. I don't know whether EMC will come with something else instead of Google. And ultimately we 